What's up, YouTube? Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube here with a video of a submission, 100 cards that I'm going to be sending off to PSA. Now again, excuse me, my voice is a little off here. I am just feeling just a little bit sick. Um, overall, I've had a little bit of laryngitis this week, so, uh, you know, that's my, my voice may be just a little bit weirder. Anyways... Uh, so 100 cards. Here's what we're going to send off to PSA. Again, not the greatest cards, not the greatest submission, but uh, nonetheless, uh, some decent cards. Nothing great, though. We start here with the first edition Machamp Shadowless card. Obviously the most common first edition base set card there is out there. Secondly, a Chansey Shadowless. Now these Shadowless cards are going to get very low scores. A Shadowless Nitto King, but I'd like to have them just in slabbed because if I go to sell them, I hate to sell raw cards. There's always an issue, I feel like. Now we go here to Gyarados. Again, a lot of these Shadowless cards not the greatest shape. Now this one's in good shape. The Clefairy Doll First Edition Base Set. So anything First Edition Base Set is always a, uh, a good thing. Next we have the Blastoise base set. And next we have a Scyther. A no symbol Scyther. See, there's no jungle symbol. And here we have a uh, Gyarados base set 2. And here's an Eevee. That's a Black Star promo. Surprisingly, the population of a PSA 10 is very low on this one. And next we have a Dark Charizard. Unlimited. Look at that foil. That little circle uh, foil pop here. Look at that. Very nice. Here's a reverse a Charizard. That's very nice, but again, this is going to get a very low score, probably like a PSA 4 in my opinion. Here is a Dark War Turtle. This is much better shape, possible 10 there. And again, a kind of beat up, very beat up, I should say, Shining Mewtwo. You could really see it's kind of beat up here. And here we got some good stuff, much better stuff coming here, uh, better, better shape. We have a Charizard uh, Stormfront Diamond and Pearl. That's the uh, rework of the artwork and a lot of modern art. And let's make it two. Another one here. Very nice. And we have a Plasma Storm Charizard. So it has a shot. It's between a PSA 9 and 10. So we're hoping for a 10 on one of those three Charizards. I'd love a 10 on one of the two Stormfronts. And then obviously the storm, uh, the Plasma Storm, I'd love a 10 as well. Here is a uh, holographic from, I believe it's uh, Guardians Rising Charizard. See that, that weird looking foil. It's almost a horizontal kind of foil. Here we have a... Um, Altaria Secret Rare. I always love these Secret Rares from Black and White. I think this is Guardians Rising as well. Look at that foil. Look at the car. I mean, a golden Altaria. That looks awesome. And here's the new Pokemon, which Reshiram. Reshiram? Reshiram, I believe. Reshiram. A full art, very cool looking card. Never got into the Black and White series, unfortunately, though. That's the one... Uh, it's the one era I didn't really get into. Uh, here is uh, Execute, at least in the games. Here's a Execute Secret Rare, the Golden Eggs. <laughs> Green Eggs and Ham, right? Anyways, we go here to a Charizard pre-release. Uh, very nice. Probably will get a 9, in my opinion. And here's a Shining Mewtwo. Definitely, definitely 10 worthy. Honestly, probably Beckett 10 worthy, in my opinion, as well. If that doesn't get a 10, I'm going to be shocked. Um, and here is the off center Mew that we got in our mail day a while back. You could see top to bottom, way off center. Look at that. Hopefully, we get that. Look at that back, too. Hopefully, we get that 9 OC on this Mew. Here's a Hitmon Lee. From Fossil, Japanese. Just a bunch of Japanese stuff coming around. All these are perfect shape. A uh, Dragonite. 
a Haunter. A lot of nostalgia here. Not the most expensive cards. An Aerodactyl. These are all foils. A Raichu. Lots of pop here on the foil. A Magneton. A Hypno. Look at all that foil pop. A Muck. Gengar. Oh, that one's really popping. A um, Articuno. Very cool. A Moltres. Some legendary bird action. A Kabutops. Ooh, that one really pops. A Mew. Yeah, look at that. That's awesome. A Lapras. Mew, Lapras, Dragonite are kind of the big three of the fossil set. And now you have some Neo 2, Japanese Neo 2, Wobbuffet. <laughs> Love the cartoony look on that one. Here's another Wobbuffet. And we got a Yanma, Japanese Neo 2. Another Yanma. <laughs> And a couple of these, obviously the biggest ones of the set here, are Umbreons. So we have one Umbreon, Japanese. Two Umbreons. Three Umbreons, three of a kind. <laughs> Let's make it three, make it a triple. And we got uh, Ursarang. Look at the way he looks at you, that's really nice. I like that shot of Ursarang. Very cool. Ursaring was one of my more favorite Pokemon, I guess you could say, of that era. So now we're going to move on to the second 50 cards. That was the first 50 cards. A lot of these are actually going to be... Uh, uh, let's see. Actually going to be some Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, okay. Alright, so we start here. With a Harpy's Pet Dragon from Forbidden Memories. We continue on with Metal Morph, Forbidden Memories, Yu Gi Oh! promo from the PlayStation. And we have a Blue Eyes White Dragon from uh, the PC game. Look at that prismatic foil. PC Kaiba. Love that one. Here's a DD Warrior Tournament Pack 7. These are getting up there in price. Very nice. Here's some Retro Pack 2 Jam Defender Hollow Foil. A lot of pop here. And here's another Retro Pack 2 Thousand Eyes Restrict. It's about a $20 to $30 raw card nowadays. Here's a Dark Ruler of Hades or Hades. Very creepy card. Obviously known in the Legacy of Darkness. Uh, but Retro Pack 2 version here. Here we have a retro, uh, yeah, retro pack two secret rare victory dragon. These are getting up there in price as well, so very cool. Victory dragon. Here is another victory dragon. Another secret rare Valkyrian, the Magna Warrior retro pack two again. Green Baboon, I'm very interested on this one. Uh, Defender of the Forest. Now, this is the Unlimited Retro Pack 2, not the Limited Edition. That's very common. The Unlimited is a pack pulled one, and it's a much rarer pull. So, very excited on this one. Let's see if we can get that 10, because they're not certainly... I don't even know if there's any out there. Here is a Pun of Avarice. A very nice looking card from uh, Dark Revelation 4. Dark Revelation 4 Ultra. Here's a Cyber Twin Dragon, Ultra from DRO4. It's pulled on the channel. And again, this one also pulled on the channel. Cyber Dragon, Ultra Rare, DRO4. That card's getting expensive. Again, pulled on the channel. E Hero, Elemental Hero, Tempest, Ultimate Rare, Euro Print. Look at all that foil pop from Elemental Energy. A Majestic Red Dragon Ghost Rare. Look at that one. Looks right into your soul. <laughs> Very cool first edition. And here is a Red Eyes Flare Dragon Ghost Rare. That's real nice looking. And let's make it two of these. 
from Clash of Rebellion, the last Ghost Rare to ever be printed, I believe, so very cool. And I love the black border with the Ghost Rare, it just looks amazing. Move on here to some Shonen Jump promos, Jump Blue Eyes White Dragon. A Jump Secret Rare Blue Eyes Ultimate, let's make it one, two, three, four, five, five of those. And here is a Judgment of the Pharaoh. Very, very cool. And let me start here with a Vampire Lord. Going back to the old sets. A Mask of the Accursed. From LON. Mask of Restrict. LON. Dark Mirror Force Ultra from Invasion of Chaos. Invader Darkness from Invasion of Chaos as well. A, uh, here's some a XY Dragon Cannon, Magician's Force, and a YZ Tank Cannon, Magician's Force. Chaos Command Magician, XYZ Dragon Cannon, Ultra. Dark Magic Attack, Ancient Sanctuary, Dark Sage promo here. This is one of the most underrated promos in my opinion. Very nice looking card. Very cool. Used once in the show, maybe twice. From Dawn of Destiny, that promo. Here's a Winged Dragon, a Raw Dawn of Destiny, Prismatic, a Valkyrian from Dawn of Destiny as well. Look at that foil pop. Here's a Sinister Serpent, Sinister Serpent from uh, Stairway to Destined Duels. A uh, Harpy's Feather Duster. Look at all that pop. And we're going back to some Pokemon here. We have a Fortress, a Fortress Japanese. Butterfree at Japanese. A little out of order. Beedrill Japanese. Steelix Japanese. Heracross Japanese. And now we go back to LOB. I gotta sort these out. A Dark Hole, Legend of Blue Eyes, first edition. Second print, a B Skull Dragon. Only unlimited on this one, unfortunately. Not the not the greatest. But it's still a gem mint card in my opinion. It'll get a ten. It should. Uh, seven tools of the bandit. Metal Raiders First Dead, a Jinzo. This was the pack pulled one on my channel. If you haven't seen that, check it out. Very cool. Some Legacy of Darkness, uh, last turn. Uh, another last turn. A Yamada Dragon, always known for centering issues. A Marauding Captain, Legacy of Darkness. Also seen in Reinforcement of the Army. And a Yada Garasu. The Yada Lock. That's where we're going to end it. Alright guys, we'll send these out. We're going to do another submission. But if you're interested in submitting some of your cards in the next submission, I do plan on going again in the next, uh, I don't know, next few months. So if you're interested, let me know. I'll send them off for you. But obviously there's going to be a cost. But obviously for my time and everything, uh, it's going to be pretty hefty. So I don't think most people will be interested in it. But uh, just in case you are, just let me know if you don't want to go through that whole process. I got it. All right, everybody. Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube signing out.